sure this is the right one and then we'll start it. Okay. Do you want to come in with that or a regular? Okay. Here we go. Hello there and welcome to our show. My name is Lou Wheel and I publish the official relocation guides on Atlanta on behalf of the first multiple listing service of Atlanta. We have the publications available for the metro area as a, in, in total, also one for Gwinnett County in partnership with the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce, one for North Fulton in partnership with the North Fulton Chamber of Commerce, one for Cobb County in partnership between FMLS and the Cobb Association of Realtors, and one for Inside 285. They're available at most chambers of commerce and uh, uh, real estate brokerage firms at no charge. So stop in, pick up a free copy, or ask your real estate agent for a copy, or send me a request, lou at louwhelan.com, and I'll be happy to send you a copy at no charge. They're also available on my website, Atlanta Community Profiles, Dot com. You can download them or request a free copy there as well. I'm also a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Georgia Properties. If I can help you with any of your real estate needs, commercial or residential, please let me know. Again, my email is lou at louwheeland.com. And uh, every week our goal is to provide information uh, on our great city uh, via uh, interviewing people who are contributing to the community and who know it best. And today we have a uh, special guest on our show, uh, a person who does know the area very well, Shelly Lamar. Welcome to our show. Great to have you today. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Lou. It's great, great to, to be here. Thank you so much for coming over here. I know you have a busy day today and we appreciate your uh, investing a few minutes of your valuable time with us. Um, Shelly, uh, Shelly Lamar oversees the implementation of the Aerotropolis Atlanta Blueprint, which is a vision for the area around Hartsfield-Jackson um, Atlanta International Airport, including several communities in Fulton and Clayton. She is a uh, veteran of the uh, Aerotropolis Atlanta area. Uh, she comes uh, to the Alliance from the uh, JAT Consulting, where she worked on Houston's Bush International Airport uh, redeve and redevelopment program. Prior to that, she spent 17 years in planning and management and community engagement uh, with the City of Atlanta's Department of Aviation at Hartsfield-Jackson uh, Atlanta International Airport. So a person who knows the area extremely well, to say the least. And we're going to learn a lot today about an entity known as the Aerotropolis Atlanta. And who better to define it than Shelley Lamar, Executive Director. So please, if you would, let's just define okay. the organization. All right, quickly, Lou. Um, we are a public-private partnership. So what we have done is bring together the various communities around the airport, all of those local governments, in addition to private industry and nonprofits in order to spur economic development uh, but economic development goes hand in hand with workforce development and education. And so um, part of our mission is to provide that workforce development training, uh, as well as work with the school systems, both K through 12 and post-secondary, um, to make sure that the people within our footprint, um, and as you mentioned, it does include South Fulton County, so everything from I-20 down uh, in, in Fulton County. It also includes Clayton County and a little bit of Henry County, actually. Um, and so, but we want to make sure that the residents in the area are able to take advantage of the jobs that we're going to bring to the area. Uh, and so that's why we are committed to the workforce development and education. And then lastly, 
we're concerned about quality of life. Uh, we want to be able to make a difference um, by doing some things like um, trails and, and uh, bike pet paths, just like the Beltline. Um, we're actually already embarking. I just uh, hired a consultant uh, to go forward with our Greenway plan, uh, which would, we envision, would connect with the Beltline and bring it on down to the south side. Good for you. you know? Could you maybe outline the geography involved and, and your, your area of involvement, please? Okay. So if you started from I-20 uh, in Fulton County and traveled down to the airport, it includes all of that area, so Fort McPherson uh, to the airport, and then from the airport out, it includes College Park, uh, Haightville, the city of East Point, Union City, uh, Fairburn, oh my gosh, uh, Forest Park, Riverdale, uh, and so forth in, in Clayton County. So that's on the Clayton County side. Um, and then we go down um, as far as to the northern portion of Henry County. Okay, so well, quite a large, a lot, yes. A lot of geography. Yes, it is. A lot of geography. Yes, it is. Well, as, as there, has there, now you have an, an entity known as the Aerotropolis Atlanta CIDs. Correct. How do you work with them? So we are a, um, I call it a sister or sibling organization. Uh -huh. So we're a family. And CIDs, for, for those of your listeners who don't know what a CID is, it's a community improvement district. And that's where business owners get together and, or landowners, corporate landowners, get together and they say, you know what, we see so much potential, um, but we need some additional infrastructure, um, or we have some safety concerns or whatever. And, and there are several community improvement districts around the metro area. Uh, we decided on the south side that we wanted to have that type of an organization to help us with infrastructure and safety. Those are the two main things. So the community improvement districts, that's what they do. You'll see them at um, the, their work in Perimeter Mall area, that um, wonderful, what's called the Diverging Diamond Interchange at, at, at Perimeter. Um, that's the work of that community improvement district. And so we d started the community improvement district about the same time that we started the Alliance, uh, so about four years almost four years ago now, almost four years ago. Prior to that, um, there was really nobody or no entity that was really focused on trying to develop that area for business and residents, right? Well, I, Lou, they, they were. So you have all of these various entities that I just named um, that were all doing their thing within their smaller city. So you know, Hakeville was doing their thing, trying to bring business, and uh, City of East Point was doing their thing, and the City of College Park was doing their thing, and so forth and so on, but they weren't really working together. And that's not something unheard of. Um, you see that all over the metro area and in other sure. cities, too. Um, Human nature. <laughs> it's really your goal. It's your, your kind of silo working. Right. Um, but what we found um, probably about eight years ago was to start to think about how we could really maximize our efforts in recruitment of jobs. So that's how the, uh, the Aerotropolis idea uh, came along. And it's something that has taken off internationally. So we are not the very first Aerotropolis ever. Um, it is a phenomenon, a, a development planning scheme that is seen in uh, Paris and Amsterdam, um, Beijing. Uh, so it is internationally where the airport is the center of your business district and you're going to capitalize on your proximity to the airport in your area. We are looking at the world's most busiest 
airport right here in Atlanta and so we are going to capitalize on that uh, and take it uh, to the next level. Mm -hmm. So you have 64,000 jobs at the airport responsible for them, uh, 34.8 billion dollars in uh, economic impact just in your area. Um, the airport serves over, these are the old latest figures I have, over uh -huh. 100 million people. Right. Uh, uh, over 80 percent of the population is within a two-hour flight of the Atlanta exactly. airport. Exactly. Which is why uh, Amazon might be hopefully looking at yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we can have a long conversation about about that opportunity. So I'll be happy yeah. to do that. <laughs> but let me first run out and buy some stuff in Amazon. Over 200 freight forwarders, a domestic international, it's the world's most travel and efficient airport. The next question after the break will be, what is the vision for the area? And we'll be right back after the break. It saves, we'll jump back in. Ready? Okay. Welcome back. I'm Lou Whelan sitting here with my good friend Shelly Lamar, Executive Director of the Aerotropolis Atlanta. And um, learning a lot about your area and yourself and your involvement and some of the goals and kind of just getting a profile of the area. Last, if you missed, by the way, any of this show, it's on my website without commercials at Lu, uh, atlanticommunityprofiles.com. There, I'll just click on the radio link. Now, in the last segment we talked about, we kind of defined the area in terms of its economic impact and size and scope. And uh, the next question, obviously, is what is the vision for the area in, in your mind? The vision for the Aerotropolis is, let's just say that, that we, we want to bring in new companies, and we have already been very successful uh, in bringing those companies, uh, bringing several companies in. Um, hopefully your, your listeners have already heard about um, the BMW training facility that will be uh, be constructed near the Georgia International Convention Center right off of Camp Creek Parkway. Um, that'll bring 10,000 employees annually into Atlanta for training. We also had another great win down in Union City with the addition of ASOS, A-S-O-S. -S. Uh, they're a UK uh, online retailer. Uh, they're going to invest over $40 million in their facility in Union City with 1,600 jo new jobs, 1,600 new jobs. And so what we hope to do is to bring other companies, you know, we've already got Porsche North America, uh, everybody loves that, um, which has been a, a real beacon uh, for our development. We have Chick-fil-A headquarters already uh, in our Aerotropolis area, and of course Delta Airlines and the world's busiest airport. And so what we want to do is have a good mix of jobs uh, so that whether you're an engineer or you're in the hospitality industry or want to get into the hospitality industry, uh, we will have a job for those folks. Mm -hmm. So that's what we just envision is that Instead of uh, having to, to drive uh, outside of their uh, 15 or 20 minute drive time from their home, that they're able to, to take advantage of these of jobs, um, good paying jobs. Uh, and so we, we, we hope that that's going to, going to happen. We're already working toward that. Uh, we've had, and as, as I've already said, we've had some wins. Um, 
but just elevate the community. How does the uh, element of transportation impact the positive value of that area for economic development? Well, that, that's a great question. Uh, we are ideally situated. We have I-75 and I-85, 285, um, right there at our doorstep. We're close to I-20. Um, of course, transportation, air, is right there. Um, and so that's why, one of the reasons why the area is a great uh, area for uh, logistics, uh, because you can get your truck in and out, you can get your goods off the, the airplane, uh, if it's you know air cargo, uh, quickly and, and out to the public. And then you have the access to MARTA rail. We have five MARTA rail stations within our footprint. And um, as you have seen uh, in other places, Lindbergh, uh, where there's that mixed use development around uh, MARTA stations, we envision that that is going to happen in our area too. We're already starting to see some work um, near the Fort McPherson train station with the new um, Tyler Perry Studios that's coming in there and additional developments. Uh, and, I, and I know that MARTA is very keen on uh, the mixed use development around train stations. So we, we envision that, that we're going to be capitalizing on that because we have so many train stations. College Park seems to be growing by leaps and bounds. I know they just, uh, they have the, they already have the um, uh, area, the convention center over there, which is huge. Really. Yes, it is. And they've just attracted uh, another, the Hawks, is that the Hawks Training Center? Right, so the Hawks Development League will be building a, uh, I think it's a, about a 3,000 foot, I'm sorry, 3,000 seat arena right there next to the Georgia International Convention Center. Um, that will be a great um, draw for the public to be able to come in and watch sports at that arena. Uh, and I'm sure that additional sports will be played at that arena going forward once, once the arena is built. But yes, College Park has been doing um, some wonderful things. Going back to talking about some mixed use development, they have a new development near the College Park Station called the Pad on Harvard. Um, that is a um, mixed use, it's residential. Uh, phase one has already been completed. And so we're, we're very proud of that development and what it will do for the downtown College Park area, which, by the way, is also adding many new restaurants too. Um, so we're, we're very the excited. The Pad on Harbor, I've noticed that on your website. Mm -hmm. Now that's uh, mixed use, right? Residential, Correct. you have businesses there, rec dining. Yes. Is it kind the, of, uh, what would you, uh, like? is that, tell us a little bit about, will you have movie theaters or anything? No, or? they are, um, well, they will not, as far as I know, they will not have movie theaters there, um, but they are looking at the dining uh, opportunities uh, and definitely having some sort of um, office or shared office space um, available. Okay, that's really big later. Mm -hmm. A lot of new to the millennial generation. Yes, especially. and that's that is what what we have to plan for, right? Right, for sure. They're taking over the world already. I mean, what what do you see as their involvement in the in the uh, in the area, the Tropolis area? Is that a good? One? market target market population -wise? yes I mean we we know that you know we're Lou you and I are we're getting older right thank you I decided I'm not getting any you're not getting any older right okay <laughs> this is right here spot on okay well let's but, do that together okay I, 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 I will sign on the dotted line on that one all right I'll send you a copy. okay <laughs> Um, but we know that these millennials, they don't want cars. They want to be able to hop on transit and get to where they're going. Um, or they want to be able to walk to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why uh, the proximity to MARTA stations, 
uh, is important and think something that we can capitalize on. Uh, now we do have some height restrictions within the immediate area around the airport. You know, you don't want to build them too high. Uh, they've got these, these jets coming in. Um, but there's, there's plenty of opportunity for development around the MARTA stations to capitalize on this growing trend nationally on uh, live, work act, live, work, and play. Okay. Stay yeah. tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to learn a lot more about that area and its impact on the metro area as a whole. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after the break.